guys, this is Joey, and this is my VR to Random Randomness by Sunshine Morning Ray with her 69 <laughs> questions. <laughs> okay, so, question one. Did you make your bed this morning? No. <laughs> it's still a mess. I've tidied my whole room except the bed. There you go. Fascinating information. Two, have you ever played Slugbug? I had to look this up, I had no idea what it was, and no, I have never played Slugbug. Apparently it's some children's game about punching each other. There was something like Chinese burns when I was at school, and like the little boys who fancied the little girls tried to like twist their arm and burn them. <laughs> Full moon or dark moon? Oh... But I like both. If I had to pick, I would probably pick Dark Moon just because it's a stronger time for the Morrigan. Uh, I have rituals in place for the Full Moon for the Morrigan as well, but Dark Moon is a much stronger time for that and it's good for smacking all the negativity out and that sort of thing. Question four. Lemons and limes. Limes? Put the lamb in the coconut and drink it all up your butt the <laughs> I like key lemon pie, I like lime, I like lime, I like lime. Lime is probably actually one of my favourites, favourite flavours. Have you ever had a deja vu experience? Yes, I've had many deja vu experiences. There are people in my life that I believe I've met before in previous incarnations and that's given me deja vu moments. Uh, there are places I've been and I've had a weird sense of deja vu and couldn't fully explain it. I can't think of any more specific examples right now. Okay. Question six. Pickup truck or sports car? Well, sports car because I don't like pickup trucks. <laughs> I don't drive so it doesn't really make huge amounts of dif difference to me. A highly reputable plastic surgeon just offered you free surgery. What are you having done? Lapo! <laughs> just take all the fat. I don't care what you do with it, just take it away. Oops. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> do you have a birthmark? Yes. <laughs> I have two. Uh, I have, although one has really faded, I've got a little red birthmark here, which is faded. And, <laughs> and I, I have a birthmark on my backside. <laughs> Apparently when I was born it was on my back and like as I grew it moved and now it's on my bum. <laughs> what is your astrological sign? Virgo. Poor old Virgos, they get such a bad rep. Can you chew gum and walk at the same time? Yes. <laughs> what a strange question. Do you watch TV in bed? No, there's no television in my bedroom. I don't believe in it anyway. I no, I wouldn't like a TV in the bedroom. I might be odd in this respect, but I prefer it to have that as a, a sort of more or less electronic-free zone. Where were you on 9/11? I was in Corfu on holiday, and we were coming home on the 14th. That was a fun trip home. It was scary. I remember we were actually visiting a castle and there were all these people like, oh my god, oh my god, and we were like, what? <laughs> and uh, they told us and then we went home and saw it all, all over the news. When was your last nature walk? Day before yesterday. I uh, went to the local green and went going and sort of wild crafting and picking bits and pieces and feathers and all sorts. Have you ever been arrested? You. <laughs> that be good. <laughs> no, I'm pretty pretty well behaved most of the time. Dog or cat? Cat. I want a cat. I want I want two cats, two little meows. Load their pad pad paws. I just need cats. Do you sing in the car? Yes. Although currently in the car we have no radio. But I always sing all the time, so <laughs> What movie or TV character do you resemble or relate to? Oof. Oh my god. Um, 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 um. I 
don't know if I resemble or relate. Maybe, maybe Sally from Practical Magic. Maybe. <laughs> Have you ever danced in the rain? Yes, I've danced in a thunderstorm. What size is your bed? King size? I think it's king size. Is that king size or queen size? I'm pretty sure it's king size. Pretty sure it's king size. <laughs> you get to ask Gandhi one question, what would it be? Uh, how on earth do you remain patient in the face of some people? Possibly. Uh, last song you heard was Ellie Goldings Burn. Uh, da -da -da. Do you still watch cartoons? Well, I watch anime. Some people call that cartoons. Other than I don't watch cartoon cartoons anymore, but I watch anime, so it depends on your definition, I guess. Mountains, deserts, or oceans? Toss up between mountains or oceans. Let me think. I guess if I had to pick, I would probably live by the sea, by oceans, because nearly all my life I've never been anywhere near the sea. I've been inland, and I do love going in the sea and walking along the ocean and everything. It's beautiful. What would you add to a time capsule today? <laughs> I hate these things. I hate time capsules. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I have never liked time capsules. I've never liked that idea. Um, I realise I'm going to come off as weird here. Um, now, I love history. I love the study of history. I love things like that. But time capsules to me just feel kind of fake. It's like what we think we want people to think of us in the future. And I, I'd rather explore history myself. Free vacation where you're going, Japan! <laughs> Sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Dusk is my power time. By the way, I'm not explaining Japan, just everything about it. <laughs> uh, dusk is my power time. I love the sunset. I love the colours. I'm not a morning person, although I wake up now at six every morning, but still, I'm, I'm not a morning person. Burial or cremation? Probably cremation. What did you have for dinner last night? We had pizza last night. We were we misbehaved last night again. Um, the car blew up. <laughs> so going going and buying salad did not happen. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? No. <laughs> it would take a very very special person to get me to skinny dip. I tell you. Uh, what colour are your mother's eyes? Demonic. Uh, where are your car keys? I don't have a car. Ever run out of gas? Well, I don't have a car, so unless you mean bodily gas, then no. <laughs> I'm full of air. Ever busted your butt in public? What does that mean? Do you mean work hard or get your arse out? I've never got my arse out in public. What colour underwear are you wearing right now? Pink. <laughs> when we, when you were a kid, what was your favourite Halloween costume? A witch, obviously. I had a special dress-up box, and there was this gorgeous long black gypsy skirt with really thin gold thread all the way through. I used to wear that every year as my witch skirt. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Have you ever paid it forward? Well, I assume paid it forward in the sense of kindness, in which case I believe in trying to do a good good deed every day if I can. Um, so I guess so, yeah. Do you dream in colour? I dream in colour. I've dreamt in black and white. I've dreamt in foreign languages. I dream really vividly, so yes. What are you afraid of? Heights. I get overwhelming vertigo. And if people try and get me on um, roller coasters, I literally will claw your eyes out. <laughs> Ever eaten frog's legs? Nope. <laughs> nope. Chocolate milk or regular milk? Well, chocolate milk, obviously. <laughs> K 
Can you curl or roll your tongue? I can't roll it, but I can curl it. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Favorite crystal. If you don't know that, you haven't been paying attention. That's from Diablo, but never mind. Uh, Amethyst. Are you high strung or laid back? Well, in general, normally very laid back. I have lost my temper two or three times my, properly my entire life. And I'm apparently really, really scary when I properly lose my temper. So there you go. Best room for a fireplace. See, I would have thought I would have said living room, but kitchen came into my head first. So we'll go with kitchen. Like if you had a really, really big kitchen and then like a really, oh my God, you could have a proper cauldron and everything. That would be awesome. <laughs> Favorite scented candle. Oh gosh. Well, I don't really like scented candles because they quite often smell vile. <clears throat> but I have a really gorgeous uh, spiced apple scent at the minute that I've been using with my own and that's gorgeous. Uh, f incense cones or sticks sticks they make less mess rain or shine right well I can't answer that because I like both and I love rain at the minute let's go with that because I love rain at the minute I love going to sleep to the sound of rain um, I think it's cooling and refreshing and everything so excuse me Sweats or jeans? Jeans. Sweats are revolting, right? Uh, unless you're exercising. <laughs> Do you have sexy feet? No. I have small feet, um, but I don't like my feet. Size 5, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> in UK sizes. Uh, one word your spouse or sibling would use to describe you now. Difficult, probably. Uh, what is your shoe size? I've already done that. Size 5. Lions, tigers or bears? Tigers. I absolutely love tigers. Say rubber baby buggy bumpers three times fast. Rubber baby bugger bumpers. Rubber baby bugger bumpers. Rubber baby bugger bumpers. When is your bedtime? <laughs> okay. I run out of steam quite early. I usually go to bed by about 10 at the latest and that between half 9 and 10 at the minute and I've just been so so tired. It's because we get up at 6am and by 10 I'm like really tired. I mean if Something's really exciting me, then I'll stay up later. But I used to stay up all night. Like when I was a student, I used to stay up till two a.m. every night, and I can't do that now at all. I'm getting old. Loofah or washcloth? Well, probably washcloth because I don't think we really tend to see loofahs around. I actually have one of those poof, poofy things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> poofy things. Peanuts in the shell or shelled? Well, shelled then, unless you're talking about um, pistachios, in which case they're much nice. Leather or lace? Leather. <laughs> uh, I don't like lace very much. There is a, the occasional lace thing that I quite like, but it just, I think it's so easy to go old lady, whereas leather is just sexy. I'd look, I'd look damn good in a nice leather jacket. <laughs> No. <laughs> right, you just won one million dollars. What was your first purchase? Probably a home. <laughs> yeah. Zombies suddenly break down your door. What do you grab for defense? Probably my, um, oh, what's it called? I have a great big cleaver. A Chinese cleaver for all my Chinese cooking. Probably that. That's probably the most vicious thing I own. <laughs> What topic or subject is taboo for you? Rape. Ugh. Your front door just caught fire. What's your escape route? Probably the back door. <laughs> uh, what is one of your nervous habits? Well, I talk with my fingers a lot when I'm nervous. Or... I don't know. I... I don't bite my nails or anything like that. I might pick my hair actually, like, yeah. It's not very nice, is it? Uh, but, 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 63, we're nearly done. What is your most said exclamation? Oh my giddy aunt, probably. <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Especially when I see something I need and love. 
What would your Patronus be? Fox, I imagine. <laughs> Herbs or crystals? I can't pick crystals if I if I had to, but I, I would be very upset if I had to. Ferris wheel or merry well merry go round, I'm not going upwards. <laughs> Introvert or extrovert? Uh probably introverted for the most part. I can be quite outgoing but I prefer small groups of people. I'm not very good at large groups of people. Finally blow us a kiss. Mwah. You asked for it. <laughs> and then send it to Trina. Okie dokie. So that's my sixty nine random random. Many blessings.